Hello everybody and welcome back again to Chris Bosch Props. My name is Chris and today I am going to show you how to put an LC1 Alice frame on a HasLab replica proton pack. So let's get into it. This is my Alice frame. That is the first thing you are going to need, and you are going to need an LC1. So make sure whatever Alice frame you get, it is an LC1. Um, as you can see here, I called around locally. I didn't buy this online. There was a local military surplus, and they held this one for me, and I got it a lot cheaper than what you would pay for online. So if you're shopping around for Alice frames, Look at your local military surplus. This replica from Fox costs me $60 cash in person. Is you're gonna want some insulation foam. You can get this at Lowe's. Uh, this is not entirely afterlife movie accurate. Uh, at least on the outside it is, but they did use a different type of foam in the inside that they layered, but we're gonna make this cheap and easy. So I'm just gonna use one inch rubber insulation foam that you can get at Lowe's. This whole entire strip cost me $10, definitely more than I needed, but yeah, you're gonna wanna put this on where the headrests and the shoulders are. So that, that metal bar is not sitting there digging into your shoulders. Just makes it a lot more comfortable. So this stuff is self-adhesive. It's really easy to do. I'll show you how to do it. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our shoulder pad here on the top or our headrest, whatever you wanna call it. Let's pull this tag off here. Really easy. You just take your insulation foam. Like I said, I'm using one inch and I kind of measure it out like so. I've done this a million times, guys, so I don't really use much reference. So eh, I'm gonna say right there. You can just kind of peel away whatever you want. The ones on the screen use packs are not pretty, so don't worry about it. That should be good. That looks pretty good. Good enough for me. So with that, What I like to do is center it up, center it up as much as I can. Here, let me try to get a better camera angle. Center it up the best I can, and then you can see where the loops are for the straps. And then all I do is I make little marks. really easy so I have my marks there and I'm gonna cut my little slots like I said it don't have to be perfect I will do when I have it out like that I'll do the same thing for the other side make these little slots so the adhesive doesn't stick to the strap and then all you have to do is I'll try to make these ones a little bit prettier you're just kind of trying to get the Perfect. Let's go ahead and take the adhesive off. It just pulls right off. You'll just kind of, you'll have to line it up to its position like so. Peel the tape. Here, I'm gonna get a little bit of better light here. There we go. Come around here. 
we will line up the adhesive there we go nice little bite we'll pull this adhesive off I'm not worried about it sticking to the bar no big deal at all there we go so now we have our Alice frame shoulder pack let's get this Alice frame on the proton pack what do you say so the first thing we're gonna want to do is remove the straps that are already here you just do that by pulling that out there like so make sure you don't get snagged and they pull right out Same thing for the right shoulder. And we'll do the same thing for the bottom one. Now I'm not sure if you can reuse these straps for your Alice frame if you wanted to. I'm not going to. I mean, I'm not gonna throw them away, but you might be able to if you wanna preserve the stuff that it came with you'll have to figure that out it looks like they could possibly work but I don't know okay so we got both of those straps off let's get the kidney pad off okay I see all right If you didn't see that, you'll have that. Looks like you're gonna have to pull it off. And then there you go, you're free. But I'm gonna put it back on because if I don't, I will lose it. Okay, so we got the right side of the kidney pad here. Same thing, take the long strap. here from the buckle pull it off and make sure you hold on to it so you don't lose it you'll take that part completely pull it off there and then I'm gonna put it back on just a little bit so I don't lose it and I know I will you will have these plastic spacers that will go in the slots of the bottom of the proton pack and it looks like they have some screws already uh, glued in there and tapped so you can just go right into those with the smaller screws and the larger ones so we have two brackets here that are the same size so the ones that are the, the same size are going to go across the Alice frame and then you have three different size brackets there. You have a larger one, a medium, and a small one. And it's gonna run tapered down to the top of the Alice frame starting from the bottom. So let's go ahead and put the Alice frame on and then put these on there. Okay, we have our Alice frame. I'm gonna kind of center that with the bottom of these slots. We can go ahead and put those screws there just to keep this from coming loose. Okay, I'm just hand tightening them. Pick your other long one. Let me center this back up. We have our two brackets that are the same size. They are going to go like so. And the other one is going to go right there. I'm just kind of loosely hand tightening and then I'm going to come back and do an official tightening. So we have our other three 
And as you can see, they taper from the bottom of the Alice frame to the top, okay? So let's go with our top one. Top of our Alice frame there. You might have to kind of wiggle it to get it centered. Remember, these are all just loosely on. Put the other one. We got our medium size one. That is gonna go right here at the cross member. There we go. Okay, a little fighting and we got it. Now the largest one is gonna go down here at the bottom, okay? Okay, so they are all hand tight. I am gonna come back and screw all these in with a screwdriver. We have our new Alice frame right on there and we can strap it on just like the movie now. Let's see how it looks on. So that is the Hasbro pack. Man, it feels like a real Proton pack. I wish my uh, my 84 movie accurate replica was this light. This is super light. Easy, I could wear this thing all night long. But how about we see it with the lights on guys? What do you say? That's amazing guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.